Hi, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM tonight, where we've got a lineup of movies from Hollywood's greatest year, 1939. Up next, Robert Donat stars in Goodbye, Mr. Chips. In a year when virtually every category was stacked with remarkable performances, the Best Actor category at the Oscars may have been the most competitive, with Jimmy Stewart for Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Lawrence Olivier for Wuthering Heights, Mickey Rooney for Babes in Arms, Donat for this film, all of them competing against the odds-on favorite, Clark Gable as Rhett Butler in Gone with the Wind. Yet the winner was not Stewart or Olivier or Rooney or Gable. The winner was Robert Donat, at the time one of the most popular actors in England. Goodbye, Mr. Chips is the story of Charles Chipping, an aging teacher at a British boys' school. Word guests as Chipping looks back at his life and work. Donat is not nearly as well remembered today as his most famous contemporaries, in large part because he didn't work regularly in Hollywood. He didn't like the long voyage, and once he got here, he didn't really enjoy Los Angeles. He also had terrible asthma that prevented him from taking some roles. So if a studio wanted to work with Donat, that meant making a movie in England, which is exactly what MGM did with Goodbye, Mr. Chips. To star opposite Donat, MGM cast one of its newest stars, British actress Greer Garson, making her feature film debut. Garson's emergence is yet another reason why 1939 is such a pivotal year in Hollywood history, because when Garson arrived, she made a stunning impact. She earned the first of her seven Oscar nominations for this performance in Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Ironically, when Garson took her screen test for MGM, she thought she had botched it badly. Instead, she became the personal protege of MGM studio head Louis B. Mayer, who thought Garson represented the essence of big screen goodness and decency. From 1939, here are Robert Donat and Greer Garson in Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Goodbye, Mr. Chips was remade and released in 1969 as a musical starring Peter O'Toole in the title role. Both O'Toole and the star of the 1939 version, Robert Donat, were British. But unlike O'Toole and other English stars, including Donat's contemporary, Laurence Olivier, Donat is not well remembered in the States. Director Alfred Hitchcock cast him as the lead in his 1935 thriller, The 39 Steps. And at one point, Donat was in the running for the lead role in Captain Blood, also from 1935, as well as The Adventures of Robin Hood from 38. But both of those roles would have involved Donat moving to Hollywood, which he refused to do. Besides, his chronic asthma would have made some of the more athletic scenes in those pictures nearly impossible. Donat preferred to remain in England, where he was a top leading man of British cinema and stage. And it all worked out very nicely for Errol Flynn, who landed the lead in both Captain Blood and Robin Hood. Up next, our 1939 movie marathon continues with Ginger Rogers proving she didn't need to dance to make a hit. She stars in a provocative comedy directed by Garson Kanan. 